Gospel by 343 Studios. Well, hello everyone. It has been a long, hot minute since we've done the first review of this laptop. So, as you can see, it looks different on top. That's because I had it wrapped. So if you guys are wanting to wrap your laptops on the lids for business purposes for DJ, so when you have it open, but the logo shows up. So <clears throat> I also have a, a wireless mouse hooked up to it and all that good stuff. But so far, this laptop is holding out really, really, really well. Um, I've used it with the Ethernet, Ethernet port there. I've had Ethernet hooked up to it. We've used HDMI. I uh, haven't used the uh, micro uh, USB type C on it though, uh, but all the USB, it charges really fast. I actually used it uh, a couple weeks ago at a DJ event and was able to use it the entire night on the battery. Didn't even have to plug it in. So I had it fully charged and it ran uh, Spotify and all my music stuff all on the battery. Didn't have to plug it in. So, turn it on here. Seems like every time I turn it on though, because I don't use it a whole lot other than for DJing, it has an update. So we're gonna go ahead and fire it up. See what kind of update we've got, if there's any. Everything with my Google account is synced to my bigger computer at home. As you can tell, the background there is the same as my bigger screen. I don't know why, how I can make that save it. I tried to put DJ stuff on this one and it just syncs to whatever's on my other one. So we're on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi works really good on it. The battery, I'm at 69%. Uh, like I said, runs Spotify really well. Um, battery stays up on it really good. It's lightweight. Uh, the battery is internal. As far as I know, you'd have to tear it apart to get to the battery. The battery just doesn't unsnap from it. So that's nice. You don't have to worry about it coming unplugged. Um, it doesn't seem to overheat. It doesn't get hot. It stays cool. Uh, the screen's really good. It is not touchscreen. And the keyboard is not backlit. I've had a lot of questions about touchscreen and the keyboard from the other video. Uh, the keyboard is not backlit which would be cool if it was but with uh all my dj lights it doesn't i don't necessarily need the extra lighting but if it was touch screen that would be cool i'm sure they have a version of this in touch screen um with all my music and stuff i've got on here let's actually go in yep see i've got an update imagine that we go into settings i want to see how much of this i filled up for storage, and I find storage. I guess that would be over here. Got this PC. So I've only used, I have a gob of music on here. I've got some on my uh, media player. Got a few other things, Windows stuff, but I've only used, I've still got 118 gigs left. So, it's pretty good. I've only used 73, but a lot of that is operating systems and, and stuff like that. So we're not even halfway full on the operating, which I'm gonna be getting an external hard drive for this too. I've got some pictures on here, some music, all that good stuff. Uh, there's a few pictures, some family and stuff I like to keep on here. But yeah, so all in all, my final thoughts is, do I recommend this? Yes. If you're looking for a computer, it has a webcam. Webcam works great. If you're looking for a computer to do homework on for a beginner school person that needs one for school, this is the this is the unit to get. It has an Intel Premium Gold processor. The process is really fast. Internet works great. Uh, like I said, it did have, does have an update, and the updates are really fast. Like I'm gonna go ahead and do one here really quick. So we're going to update and restart. You can see how fast that it goes here. 
course I have really high speed internet here and it makes it a heck of a lot easier. But sorry I haven't been able to get this video out. I have been super busy with other videos and of course this must be a bigger update. I think actually the one that I had on my bigger computer the other day was a bigger update so it took a little bit longer. But we're gonna go ahead and let that update. So anyway, yeah, uh, USB, keyboard's nice, the mouse pad, uh, lightweight, battery stays charged for a long period of time if you're not like doing videos and movies and stuff. But uh, yeah, uh, the USB work, the HD, it has HDMI on it so you can plug a uh, monitor into it and use it off the monitor. You could, we've hooked it up to TVs. Excuse me, TVs and watch movies and stuff off of it. So it is a very all-around good computer. Like I said, I wrapped the front or had the front wrapped, so that's nice. Uh, the webcam works, so it's good for all your uh, homeschooling needs if you're doing um, virtual learning or anything going on with uh, the world right now. But uh, yeah, it's very nice. Keyboard works good. I don't want to push any buttons and mess up the update, but uh, yeah works really nice i like it go out and get you one link in the description as always you can get these at walmart if they're in stock i know the way of things are right now a lot of stuff is not in stock but go check it out guys so that's going to be my final review of the hp i think it's a 15.6 uh screen very nice size screen for djing uh they make a little bit bigger but anyway so i really enjoy the the um the build of this i think it's built real well lightweight keep it in my laptop bag the power supply charges really fast uh, i'm really impressed with how fast it charges and uh, it does have volume controls and screen brightness controls and all that right up in here it has airplane mode i can dim the screen down just like that to a flat like nothing which will also extend your life or i can crank it up to full brightness i'm normally around it about there so yeah but anyway guys thanks for watching this video hope you enjoyed this final review of the hp scarlet laptop it is scarlet red that's the only color i've seen it in so far you might be able to get it in black so we just have to look around but anyway thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment subscribe and go join the nathan 343 crew and uh, become a member because we're gonna start doing member live streams. If you wanna get in on the live streams, get in on some behind the scenes stuff, things that I don't normally put on the normal videos, get into those. There's different levels um, for different types of behind the scenes stuff. I'm going to be putting on those member deals. So if you wanna see the most behind the scenes stuff, go get, whew, go get subscribed and join the Nathan 343 crew, and you'll be a crew member of the 343. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy this one. We'll see you in the next one. God bless. We'll see you later.